Hello my beautiful Aquarius, welcome to your mid-June reading. Today we're going to check to see what else is going to come forth for you. And this reading is intended for Sun, Moon and Rising signs of Aquarius. So if you have any of those in your chart, it might actually resonate with you. I will also leave a link up here and in the description box below. If you would like a private reading from me, you can go ahead and book your reading from there. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit subscribe and become a member of this beautiful soul community. Subscription is free. You can unsubscribe anytime you want. All right, guys, let's jump into your reading and let's see what is coming your way. Okay, there's a pathway opening here for you, a clean pathway. And uh, it seems like it's going to happen right away. Um, this can be an opportunity coming forward. Your cup is looking clean. And I see that you are actually in front of this dragon. You're basically taming this dragon here in front of you. Okay. This kind of looks like another person right under you. Maybe you're working together with like forming a partnership with someone. Dragon can be symbolizing, you can see the face of the person, by the way, there's a face right there wearing a crown and there's another person right there wearing a hat. Looks like a Robin Hood type of hat. Dragon symbolizes a, a tool, a um, means for power. Um, this can be like an energy that you're going to cultivate. Maybe a project you're going to be starting, which will help you tame this dragon initially. The dragon can be symbolizing financial opportunities or maybe like an upgrade in your life in any form, shape or form that you are desiring. And it seems like here you are actually starting to take steps towards it. OK, I see that you have a clean slate behind you meaning whatever that happened in the past you're leaving it in the past okay you're not going to be carrying those experiences those maybe um moments of guilt even maybe blame which happens to the best of us to this new future okay this is going to be something you start anew it can be a relationship that's why i see another person here maybe like a couple energy forming that you're meeting with someone and this dragon can be the challenges that you're going to overcome. The challenges doesn't have to be always like financial related or emotional related. This can also be like your inner challenges. If you were desiring to maybe have that kind of like a dream um, relationship, but you didn't really, really experience that so far, uh, this can be a challenge for you because what happens is our minds try to pull us back to the familiar known past okay so going to something unknown future is actually becomes extremely scary for us so this can be a situation that you're gonna face the dragon also symbolize that kind of like the fire of uh, fear energy now you might be meeting someone new maybe stepping into an environment it can be like a business environment a job now you'll be walking into this um, space that can have um, some unusual that things that you're not used to and that kind of like um feeling in there the thing is the behind it when you pass that fear when you even maybe there's a person right here behind a dragon the beak of the dragon like the is it a beak? Is it a jaw? Jaw of the bro uh, the the dragon looks like it's broken here. Okay, so like even though it is not as strong as you think it is, um, like because the the jaw is broken, meaning it is less less powerful than you think it is. Okay, and um, even though it is like the less powerful, you might feel like because of the past conditioning this is going to be a hard ride it seems like the dragon has like i said there's a person behind them see number one this can be a leader uh someone who takes the lead or maybe like um you know manager of someone some type i see a letter u here um like this can involve a person the person has a good aura uh the person can be the one that is actually giving you a hand helping you out here or maybe this is like a, i feel like if this is a work 
environment this can be the manager that you keep maybe expanding in your eyes you keep seeing this person as someone extremely powerful but actually they're not um this is going to be a different type of experience so it's going to require different types of measures okay uh, in the sense of maybe you need to be changing the way you approach things you need to be changing the strategies here okay uh, but the thing is, overall, everything is looking good here. The person helping you has maybe like, um, we can say Taurus here, a bull in front of them. This can be a Taurus. Um, Taurus tend to be stable and um, they like comfort. They like the things that they used to. So this can be someone who is actually structured and also know what they want. And maybe a little stubborn with what they prefer so you are also partnering up with this person and maybe their attitude um, is going to be someone helpful for you okay because as an air sign aquarius tend to be um like changing their mind or even like going with the flow too much uh, for their own good and Taurus energy here maybe some somewhat ground you here with to the moment. Okay, so this person's help will be extremely um, necessary. Uh, that's why probably they're actually like coming for like a soul connection as a soul family member. Okay, to help you out there. I see um, this kind of looks like a legal paper behind you. Like I said, there are some things behind you that you're leaving, and like this is like a. Like you can see there's like a clean slate here, but there are also things happening above it. Um, it's not very clear. It's like a dream that you're going to be passing on, passing through or like seeing the things like on the screen. Um, I see there's someone actually who has a torch in their hand. I see that torch very clearly. They're passing on the torch towards another person. Okay, that person has like a microphone or um, some another tool in their hand. So this can be like um, your hard work probably paying off. Maybe you're handed, being handed over a torch or uh, an accomplishment or someone who's actually leaving their position to you. It can be that kind of a thing at work. I see also a ram right there. It can be an Aries also showing off showing up another thing with the aries they tend to be aries the emperor energy is actually leader energy leadership energy so you might also embody that as well okay i don't really see any person i just see the ram here so you might be embodying the energy of like you're getting the torch and getting the leadership getting the success and like and after that maybe you have to embody this leadership energy here okay you need to take off with that and I see after that, you are actually like cleaning, clearing up this cloud, this darker cloud when you take on the charge, take the power into your hands, okay? Let's get into your plate now. If you have a question, a desire, an intention, hold it in your mind. Let's see what the answer is going to be for that. There is a male figure here. looks like a king sitting on a throne. He has one, two, three, four different people on his chest sitting. This can be like a family figure, the the father figure that is actually taking care of his children or maybe his family protecting them covering for them or this can be you and like if you have these kind of responsibilities whatever that you're desiring your desire has some time it is coming forth as you can see but it has some time okay and you can see this person sitting here smiling this can be heavenly guidance here there was a letter m as in matthew just disappeared now it looks like a camel okay this can be heavenly guidance maybe like you're receiving guidance from some like ancestors or it can be literally like a human being uh, that is there for you helping you out and it, they're gonna appear really soon maybe they're already in your life but they need you to ask for help the camel symbolizes maybe like you are actually sitting on the camel backwards hmm this is telling me that you have a goal you want to go somewhere but uh you're doing things backwards you're not really taking steps towards your goal maybe you're taking the long road here you're thinking that's the way that can only be happening but there are actually opportunities but because you are 
fixed on the goal that this thing can only come from this this behavior this attitude or that part like whatever it is that you're fixed on might not be the way to go okay uh, there's a better way there's an easier pathway here for you i see a male figure here he has he's wearing a cowboy hat this can be someone who is maybe another uh, powerful authority figure but this is someone outside of your like family home this is not like a compassionate nurturing situation this can be like um maybe if you have any business to do with legal authorities this can be some sort of like an authority here that is helping you out i see um there is um big fish wrapping around your uh, house this can also be symbolizing a source of wealth showing up for you but it has some time it is not like right away it is coming but it might also require you to actually um use your creativity because there's a number three at the end of it as i can see right there like when you start to engage with your creativity i see also letter c this can be and there's a dog right there so your loyalty to the cause is required here your loyalty can become with the thought the cause can be your goal your final goal maybe you want to have money maybe you want to have a good home or um you want to get education whatever the cause whatever the reason that you want to accomplish the things that your dedication is actually extremely necessary there let's see what else i can see two of wands two of wands is telling you that planning is needed here okay you have the world in your hand okay you can access to anything you want but it requires you to start planning okay as taking steps towards it seven of swords indicates that um you're going to need to change the way you do things okay maybe you are actually um trying to fight through everything like i said with the, the camel here the path is opening towards another way you keep trying to take the past uh, habits you keep going for with the past habits but the seven of swords is telling me you may need to change the way you do things and then it might even appear in your life even faster we have the ace of swords here ace of swords energy is the new energy and uh, this is you libra gemini aquarius energy a new idea the ability to speak your truth express yourself and a good you know a, maybe a new beginning when it comes to uh like an intellectual new beginning for you when it comes to career i feel like we have the strength card here strength can be a leo energy also she's taming this lion so you might be in a situation that your will uh you're gonna tame your will and your actions will fix itself like your course will be um fixed you know corrected uh, course corrected for like the destiny when you actually take control take charge and taking charge doesn't have to be like overall um you know your actions i said actions but can start with thoughts initially okay because whatever we think about we bring about we had a magician as soon as i said that magician actually he has all the tools in his hand this is the alchemist this is you you're making things happen you're making magic happen here uh, so you're going to be given the tools necessary tools to create the things that you want in your life okay we have the temperance here the balance is required as well so do not overwork yourself or do not overthink about it we have page of pentacles this can be taurus virgo capricorn energy here this can be someone maybe who wants to come to you with a love offer the page of pentacles can be someone stable who uh, is actually wanting to give you the love and also can be a new financial uh, opportunity also maybe really like you know showing up in your energy field let's see what your hidden wisdom is telling us we had metal king discipline armor and boundaries so this is basically um 
aligning with what I said. Discipline doesn't have to be like with the actions per se. Discipline can start with your thoughts, okay? Aligning your thoughts with your desires is very important. If you keep focusing on the negative things, you're going to keep seeing negativity. If you keep focusing on what you want to manifest, you're going to start to see the um, opportunities actually presenting themselves. We have the Lady of the Mirror, Reflection and Non-Judgment. So non-judgment meaning, yeah, like I said, you might be focusing on the wrong things. And this is telling you reflect on the ideas and maybe the people around you can be reflecting you what's happening within you as well. So it's very important to focus on that. Focus on the moment, being in the moment. And when, you in, when you're in the moment, it's easier to recognize your feelings, your thoughts, what you're thinking also what people are saying and how what they're reflecting to you and when you focus on the moment being the moment this is going to be easier for you to understand where you're coming from non-judgment actually applies to your feelings your thoughts without judging yourself trying to explore them start trying to see what are the reason behind the way that you're acting if it's blocking the pathway uh, to your new enlightenment to your uh, fulfillment Okay, we have the hawk prints here, spirit communication and paying attention. It keeps saying the same thing. I feel like spirit is actually keeps sending the same message. Like there is something that you need to armor boundaries. Maybe you are actually allowing uh, a lot of different energies to come and pierce your armor. And you need to be actually trying to be aware of that why are you doing that is going to be the real cause like that is going to be revealed to you so you can actually let it go even faster but the spirit communication and paying attention also another symbol says that okay the spirit is sending you a message to manifest whatever your heart is desiring but you should be in the listening mode hearing mode okay and that can be happen in the moment if you're focused in the moment, if you're actually focused in the past, it can be a little hard for you to see the symbols coming your way. We have the spring. See your seeds grow, which is beautiful. We have the hair here. This actually symbolizes wealth and abundance, like the page of pentacles also supports each other here. And the sun says enjoy success and happiness okay so see your seeds grow again here it's happening something in the moment as well uh, when you find whatever is holding you back what's going to happen is that's going to leave your um, energy field faster than you can actually fathom probably and when it does leave sun will sun shine with we have the here leo the strength sun is the symbol of the leo so sun will shine for you okay and uh, you're going to collect the fruits of that hard labor. Let's see. We have. I think I see a butterfly's wing here. Like something like that. Universal love and serenity. The world needs the medicine of your divine self. Clearly see your higher self. Okay. All right, my beautifuls, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy your reading. If you do, don't forget to give us one a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I wish you all a magical day. Bye.